The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Gospel reading today, Jesus highlights the word change. Changing your mind, changing your decision, changing your life. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, is where the power of faith lies. The power of faith lies in its capacity to change us, to transform us. Faith is there not just to console us, not just to inspire or strengthen us, but to change and transform us. Ang pananampalataya natin ay hindi lamang nariyan para palakasin ang kalooban natin. Ang pananampalataya ay nariyan para baguhin tayo. Panibaguhin ang ating pag-iisip, ang ating puso, ang ating buhay. That is why the example of Jesus in the parable of the two sons, the first one was the one who followed and fulfilled the will of the Father by changing his mind from saying no into saying yes. And so Jesus emphasizes to the chief priests and the elders of the people, look at the tax collectors and prostitutes. Faith transformed them. Faith changed their lives. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Zephaniah, that is also the promise of God when the Messiah comes, He will purify them. He will change them. He will transform them. He will, in fact, correct them. Yan ang mangyayari kapag dumating na ang tagapagligtas. Hindi lamang siya nariyan para palakasin ang ating kalooban, kundi nariyan siya 
para baguhin tayo. Ang matataas, ang mga nagmamataas ay gagawin niyang mapagkumbaba. Ito ang pagbabago na gagawin ng Panginoon. And when God transforms and changes us, He changes all of us. He changes and transforms the way we do things. He changes the way how we think. Faith changes how we decide. Faith even changes how we endure hardships. Faith can even change how we love. Faith changes everything. These past few days, I have been meeting a lot of people, especially when they celebrated the Fiesta of the Immaculate Conception here. One person whom I have met told me, Father, I have been attending the online masses for the past years that we have been in lockdown, especially during the lockdowns of the pandemic. And he said, You know, Father, your online masses kept us sane, kept our sanity. Father, salamat po sa online masses ninyo na natili ang katinuan namin, no? kahit nasa lockdown kami. And I think this is the power of faith. Even if during the lockdowns, we have been enduring this terrible hardship, it transformed, it changed how we suffered, how we endured hardship. Siguro, sabi nila, kung wala ang salita ng Diyos, kung wala ang pananampalataya, kung wala ang pagdarasal, matagal nang nawala sa katinuan ang aming pag-iisip dahil sa ilang taon ng lockdown na ito. Pero salamat sa Diyos, salamat sa pananampalataya, binago kung paano tayong magdusa, binago kung paano tayong magtiis, kinaya natin paano ang tiisin anuman ang mga pagsubok ng buhay. Faith changes everything. Today we celebrate Saint Lucy. Her name comes from the word light, luce, light. Let the power of God enlighten everything in us. How we think, how we act, how we decide, how we endure hardships, and even how we love one another. The light of faith transforms and changes everything. Amen.